What's up guys, iOS 17 public beta is out now and in this video I'm going to show you how to install it so that you can enjoy all the cool new features like standby mode. Yes, I can recommend trying out this public beta because the bugs are not crazy or dangerous, but there are a few caveats. So make sure you watch to the end before installing the beta. If you're not a developer, I highly recommend installing the public beta instead of the developer beta to prevent, just in case, catastrophic major bugs. So here we go. But first, here is a list of iOS 17 compatible devices. First and foremost, you need to back up your phone. You must always back up your phone before you install any beta software, just in case something goes awry and you have to downgrade to previous OS. Okay, so go to settings, click on your Apple ID, click iCloud, scroll down and click iCloud backup, click backup now. When backup is done, you should first enroll yourself in the beta program. So, open Safari, type beta.apple.com. Hit go. Click sign up. Continue. Agree. Click Enroll your iOS device. Scroll down. Click Open Beta Updates. It will take you straight to Settings. Download and install. Congratulations! You can now enjoy iOS 17 cool new features. There are a lot of new features, but let me show you some in this video. By the way, I've also noticed that my battery lasts much longer. Usually, at the end of the day, my battery is 20%, but now it's around 40%. One of the coolest features is definitely standby mode. It transforms your phone into a smart display. It, I've already made a complete video about standby mode. Check it out, guys. I will link the video here and in the description below. In that video, I answer all your questions like, do I need to buy a wireless MagSafe charger or how do I activate standby mode? Another cool feature is screen distance. It's a health feature that can warn you if you've been too close to your phone screen for a while. I've also made a video about how you can turn this feature on. Here is the link and also in the description below. iOS 17 brings major improvement to Siri, like you can now trigger Siri without saying hey first. Just say Siri, 30 USD in GBP. 30 US dollars is 23 pounds and 39 pence. You can also speak to Siri continually without saying Hey Siri over and over again. You can see the demonstration also in this video. You can set multiple timers with Siri and I've also made a video demonstrating how to use it. Link here or in the description below. Search has got much smarter. Let me show you. For example, type auto brightness and it will take you straight to the setting page without having to manually dive deep into the settings app. You can also crop photos straight up by zooming in on the photo and the crop button will appear on the top right corner.
And then another cool feature is contact poster. It's a cool new way of exchanging contact number. I'm going to make a video about this cool new feature and how to create contact poster. So make sure you won't miss my video. So please subscribe to my channel. Next up is interactive widgets. Like this reminder widgets, you can check the checkboxes right on your home screen. Widgets have become much more useful and interactive. Of course, being a beta, there will be bugs. Here are some of the bugs that I found. For example, the fitness widget sometimes look like this. No worries, you can just click on it and then go back to home screen. Voila, it's normal again. No worries, easy peasy. Most people say banking apps work just fine, but I think it might depend on where you live. Because in my experience with developer beta 1, in my country, my banking app did not work. So I had to go to the bank, re-register everything, but thankfully it went easily. And after that, everything goes smoothly without any major bugs. Now the bug that I found is that my iPhone 11 now gets hot while charging all the way up to 80% while on iOS 16, it used to get hot around 20% to 50% and then cool down as it reaches 80%. So that's a wrap from me today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss upcoming Apple tutorials, news, tips and tricks. See you in the next one. Peace.